Alright, so welcome to Bike Stuff Staging Area, aka my dining room. Uh, sorry, it's kind of a mess. My house doesn't have any storage space really, so there's just things everywhere. I don't really have a place to put all my stuff, so. Uh, let's see, someone, I think it was Wild Bill, asked me to make a video at some point about. Uh, gear for winter riding. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd just show off the gear that I have that I wear when I go out when it's really cold, the stuff that I wore during the uh, polar bear challenge. And no, I'm not gonna show my fat ass getting dressed in this stuff. We don't need to see that on YouTube, so I'll just go over the gear and uh, show you guys. Uh, all the layers that go into me getting out on the bike in the winter. Okay, so the bottom layer is usually for me a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt of some kind and thermal underwear. These are just leggings and I wear those under the pants. Let's see, I'm going to get the pants out here. All right. Let me see. I'll put the pants on the floor, I guess. Come here, pants. Pants, pants. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work either. Alright. Pants. <clears throat> there we go. These are Joe, Rock Joe Rocket Ballistic Pants. Yes, they're kind of dirty. They need to be washed. Uh, they have a waterproof liner in them and they're actually really warm um, if it was close to freezing I would leave the uh, thermal underwear at home and just roll with the pants so those are the pants um, let's see winter jacket hanging on the chair here and this has a, a thermal waterproof liner as well um, Actually, the outside here is kind of water resistant, so, and I've ridden in the rain with it, and the pants, just once, and didn't get wet, so, I think they work pretty well. Um, under the jacket, but over said t-shirt or whatever, is the commando sweater, which was recommended to me by NT8, you can excuse the pet hair and my own hair on it. Um, but that is actually really, really warm, and if you're going to ride in the really cold, like we're talking under 20 or so, you're going to want one of these, or a heated jacket, one or the other. This was the least expensive option, and I'll tell you, it works. Believe the crazy old Navy guy, this thing works. So, that is that for those, and... And here are my winter gloves. These are Gerbing's Lady Rider heated gloves. Heated gloves. And I also have the uh, ah, get off. the portable battery pack. Um, I usually actually stash the battery in my backpack. I'll show you backpack later. But um, yeah, stash that in the backpack and run the cords under the jacket. Let me pick that up. And of course, face mask for under the, the helmet. But uh, that's pretty much it for the winter gear layers. Zoe, get off my pants. Come on. Pants. And of course, on top of everything, I have a Icon High Vis vest, and it might be dorky, but it does seem to help a little bit. Um, I think I've had a few people who might not have really been looking otherwise had their attention attracted by the yellow, so I'm um, happy I got one anyway, even though I look like a moron with it on. But uh, that's that. And go over here to helmet. 
Now, this is the one that I wear when I am recording stuff. See, it has the mount for the contour on the side. And where's it upside down? Here's my contour, contour HD. And this goes right on here. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it with one hand. Yep. And that's my dorky microphone, which I got for a couple dollars. You know what? It looks it's pretty big. I know I could get a smaller one to stick in my cheek pad, but it's working pretty good as long as the voice recorder is not anywhere near my phone. I found out when my phone goes off, this thing records some horrible screeching noise. So, this was cheap. This was like 30 bucks. I think I got this in the microphone at Newegg. And the quality is a lot better than the other one that I was using. And it records in higher quality, so it's very easy to sync the audio up to the video. Once I get it at the beginning, it syncs correctly for the rest of the video. So, uh, over here, some other random item, not necessarily having to do with winter. But, uh,. You have my Philadelphia Flyers helmet, and my glove collection, 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 actually these aren't motorcycle gloves, they're just in there, extra face shields, uh, this is a cell phone mount for my bike, another jacket, and I do have a uh, Backpack somewhere. Hold on. And oh, one more thing is the boots. They're Harley Davidson boots, and they fit really well. Um, yeah, I think you can tell by how worn they are that I've been wearing them longer than you know the four months that I've had my bike, which is true. I got these when I started riding passenger, so had these for a while and it's about time to replace them with a new pair actually just got a second pair of the same kind so uh, you'll see me wearing the same kind of boots for quite a while and winter socks I don't know I have a gripe about winter socks you can see they get pilled really easily and attract all kinds of hair and stuff to stick on them but these I forget which brand they are I also have another pair, which are Fox socks, and I can't recommend the Fox socks. Um, they're pretty heavy. I think these are heavier than the Fox socks, but um, <clears throat> I don't know. In the from the time I started the PBC until the end of the PBC a couple weeks ago, before it ended, I managed to wear a hole in each of the Fox socks. So. It was their heavier duty motocross sock, and I would not recommend the Fox brand socks because it wasn't. I don't know. I got them on sale for cheap. I got them for like eight dollars or something, but that was eight dollars down the hole when they got a hole. So heavy duty socks with the boots. Right. Here's my backpack, my crappy ten dollar backpack from. Uh, got it at. TJ Maxx with the snarky patches and some reflective tape on it. Yeah, I got ninja patch. I'm a dork. Uh, see that cager? You pay attention to that one. Uh, my favorite one. Just because I, you know, I'm a bitch. Okay. That is my quick gear tour with an overview of what I wear out in the cold. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and I will answer them, maybe. So, that is all for now.